Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting September 5th, 2018 at 7 p.m. here at the Deerfield Municipal Offices on 8 Conway Street in South Deerfield. Uh, we'd like to start our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. This meeting is being televised and recorded. Uh, first thing on our agenda is to approve the minutes of August 22nd, They're 2018. Not available yet. We have uh, August 1st, right? But not Just August 1st. August 1st. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We thought they'd be right. available, but we've had some sickness in the office. So. Yep. I will do August 1st. Make a motion to approve August 1st, 2018 minutes. Second. Is there any further discussion? Nope. Hearing nope. none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next thing we have is some hearings before the board at 715. Um, it's hard work. Can, can, I, can I just make a, a statement? Sure. Um, I just want uh, everyone to be aware that um, the mosquitoes are really, really bad this year. We have multiple, multiple, um, you know, um, rainstorms and the he heat and humidity is really encouraging the um, mosquitoes to breed. And we have a disease load, uh, West Nile disease, or West Nile virus disease, um, that is probably four to five times what we've ever had in the, in the three years that we've been monitoring. And um, so people just need to be really careful um, and make sure they patrol their yards, dump water, anything that allows the mosquitoes to breed. Um, you know, make sure you um, wear insect repellent, long sleeves, shirts, that kind of thing until frost. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a real issue. It has been so dry um, that we haven't had any triple E anywhere. So this is really good, and and we're and it's predicted to have less than um, normal precipitation this month even though it's going to be warmer than normal. So um, the West Nile virus disease is going to be continuing that threat, but there will be no triple E um, unless we have a tropical storm or something come through like this Hurricane Florence next week or something if it doesn't blow out to sea. So we, we really have to pay attention, and um, if you're over 50, it's really, well, 60-ish mm -hmm. and older. Go on. Us, <laughs> we we need to pay attention, Lily. There's been and, more and more uh, cases yeah. of human cases. Of, yes, because of West Nile um, this year. It, or you have an immune compromised system. It, it, the West Nile disease is really is serious. So please pay attention. Make sure your screens are repaired. That kind of thing. In general, it's not an issue um, for healthy people. But if you're older, you need to pay attention, at least until frost, because this is serious. It, just to give, kind of give you an example, it's normal is like one in a thousand mosquitoes, okay, would carry triple, I mean, uh, carry West Nile disease. This year, it's one in 89, and we have a lot more mosquitoes. So this is the kind of thing you have to worry about, okay? So just pay attention, please. It's not alarming. It does not, you don't need to be alarmed by it, but you just need to pay attention and focus on making sure that you yourself don't get too bitten up, okay? Thank you. Do you have anything else? We have to kill five minutes. Oh. <laughs> um, well, actually, I just want to make sure, Kip, um, how about next Thursday? I was hoping that um, you and Trevor would be able to go to this municipal um, workshop, training workshop. And that's, um, that's next, next Thursday. Thursday. I, next Thursday at 6 o'clock um, at the FERCOC. I highly recommend it. Yeah. I, I really think it's... it's I have it um, scheduled. Yep. Okay. I'll definitely be there. We should all go. Where is it? It's, right it's at the FERCOG. At the, FERCOG. At the oh. first, you know, the, where the um, executive board meets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wendy, maybe you can sign us up. Uh, do they require registration? I forget. I, I, think, I think so. I think they encourage yeah, it. They, they, they encourage it, but. Yeah. yeah. So I'm good Kip, for that. let me know. I think I, I really, I had it in my report to really, really encourage board to attend yep. the meeting. I'll be there. Um, um, there's some other good ones. The one, um, this is November 8th. It's going to be tough mm -hmm. because we're going to have, that's the vigilant guard 
is on November 8th and 9th. But is it at that night? That night, oh. yeah. Okay. So it's going to be well, a long before. day because we're starting out at like 6 a.m. So. Okay. Um, but this um, is financial, municipal financial management, best practices. That's really important. And um, so is the November 20th. That's just before Thanksgiving. But um, I think that's a good one as well. And, um, and of course, I would recommend a December 6th because hopefully we'll have uh, the report from the tabletop and Vigilant Guard, mm -hmm. and we will have the EAP from um, Great River Hydro. The, you hope. <laughs> yes. Supposedly, it's coming out in October. Okay. Um, I told him he had to have it before the November tab uh, tabletop. Yeah. And he promised. Okay. So, Good. Um, otherwise, I also complained to FERC, so um, there's a little bit of a threat there. Okay. That's it. Trevor, do you have anything? Do you want to uh, I'll do it down at uh, Select Board Comments later on. I'll hit on that. Um, do, you, do we need to wait for the 715? Um, uh, is Hardwick here? No. Or do I don't we need think them here? They're, they're probably be here. not. There's an update on that. They've had this in for a while, but we. Um, they, we their insurance certificate shows that it expired. So um, what I was going to ask you to do, you've heard from these folks before. They did another event at yes. Yankee Candle. Yep. Um, I have it here. Is if you'd like to approve it pending only um, that we have an updated certificate of insurance for them. That's fine. Um, so. I make a motion that we approve it pending an updated certificate of insurance and all fees paid. And that's a one-day liquor license, and I would second that. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And you'll track that, right, Wendy? That yes, they get it that will. Sure. We will not right. give it to them unless Until you have that. Yeah. Okay, that's good. We've been working Fair hard enough. on that. Yeah. Fair enough. Wendy, um, do you want to do, do the letter? I have a number of things. So do yeah, you want to sure, do the ahead. letter, mass yep. dot letter? Yep. Sure. Let me just get a copy of that. Where did I put that? Where did I put that? We have a letter from the town of Deerfield to oh, yes. Attorney Dolan, who's the general counsel for the Department of uh, Transportation. Um, and it's in regard to the tree removal of the intersection of Route 5 and Mill Village Road in Deerfield. Uh, I'll read it. It says, on behalf of the Deerfield Select Board, I write to make official the town's request already made verbally that it be kept apprised of Mass DOT's actions relevant to the tree removal that occurred on certain property situated at the intersection of Route 5 and Mill Village Road in Deerfield within the Mass Dot right of way. Based on decisions that had to date between Mass Dot representatives, based on discussions, discussions, I'm sorry, discussions, uh, including you and our town administrator, Wendy Foxman, and town council, Adam Costa. The select board understands that the cutting of the trees at this above property occurred without permission or a permit or approval from Mass DOT. That Mass DOT therefore issued a notice of violation to the owner of the property and that Mass DOT is now invest further investigating the violations as well as evaluating options for proceeding. The select board appreciates Mass DOT's willingness to respond to the town's inquiries to date. I respectfully ask that Mass DOT continue to update the select board on the status of this ongoing matter. Great. So if you guys want to approve it, we'll sign it and send it off. Um, I guess the only thing I was hoping for is just be a little bit stronger in the sense that, I mean, this is just like updating versus what, what is the action going to be? We can't take any action. No, but, you know, there should be, you know, are, uh, are you going to replant the trees or encourage some kind of um, action to related to the removal? This well, is just the, what we're asking in this letter is just that we keep apprised. Right. That we be kept apprised of DOT's actions relative to the tree removal right. but it doesn't say that we're interested in some um, like replacement of the trees well that's I would think that's up to the state to determine 
I mean, but if we don't ask for, well, um, I don't think that we have. I mean, you can ask for anything, but it's a state. I mean, well, you know. I know, but that's why I'm saying we should ask for it. If we don't ask for it, it's not going to happen. I don't think so. If you do something wrong, the state's going to punish you. I, mean, I don't see. I mean, well, I, I don't. I'm not interested in punishment. I'm interested in replacement of the trees. I don't know. I think if the state is finds it relevant to replace the trees, that they will. But it, how are they going to find that it's relevant to replace the trees unless we, unless we express that the neighborhood would like the trees replaced? I mean, mm -hmm. no, they don't know that the neighborhood is upset that the trees were cut. I mean, they know it, well, people are upset that the trees were cut, but they don't understand. What the remedy is? Yeah. The, the, well, the, the remedy, possible I would rather have the remedy be replacement of the trees than, say, a $5,000 fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, the $5,000 fine does not help the neighborhood become whole, whereas a plant new trees becomes more of, of how you would, you know, work on the neighborhood, to me, in my mind. I, I, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't think that it's the town's position to tell the state what to do. I mean, we want to know what they're going to do. No, but, but I mean, we're, this we're, is, we this have is to convey, but we have to convey what, what the desire of the neighborhood is. I mean, to me, it was clear that the neighborhood is upset they would like the trees replaced. So if I we just that. say, um, but I think that they, this uh, attorney Dolan received a letter uh, from phone call. Excuse me. Phone, phone call, call from us, but a letter. You're talking no. about the letter from the, the community group. Yes, from the community group as well as from Adam. But the whole oh. purpose is to back up the community group mm -hmm. to make it official for the community group or the community or, or the neighborhood. I, I'm not sure which letter we're referring to, but I, I know I've had so multiple you, phone calls. Like, you'd like to say something to affect that in lieu of a vi in, in lieu, it's, I don't want to say in lieu of, okay. of a monetary, I, I'm assuming that they would do a monetary fine, but a monetary fine just gets paid to the state and goes away. I would rather have us say, we would like the trees replaced versus just a fine that goes out into the general budget of the state, you know, that goes back into the coffers of the state, and nothing happens positive to the neighborhood. Maybe that we, we encourage on behalf of the, of the neighborhood that the remedy is that the, that, they're, that the neighborhood is requesting that the trees be replaced. I mean... That, that seems to be where the, where the you know, they, mean, would, that, they would like me, to make it whole again and would love to have. Um, the phone calls that I have gotten or the pe and the people that I've talked to or most would upset. like, yeah, would like the tree to be placed. So the plan should be, I mean, we should be requesting the trees being replaced versus just some kind of fine that goes to the state. Do you have that nothing. letter from uh, I'm Adam? I'm just hunting for it. The, the original letter? The original no, letter. there was a letter from... Adam to um, this attorney Dolan, and then there was a response. I thought it was all verbal on the phone. No, I saw an email. There was a letter. I think the letter was an email to telling me what transpired in the phone right. conversation. I didn't think there was a letter. I, I saw it in an email form, so it, maybe it was just an email. Um, and, I, and I think if we asked for the trees to be replaced, and then the trees could be replanted, and then we can move on. Versus, okay. I, I mean, I have if no. If we have a fine, then the then the neighborhood still hasn't been fit. You know, they haven't I, been made whole. I, I have no no problem adding, you know, a sentence saying that you know we'd like the trees replaced. But if you read that email from the state, they made it perfectly clear that this is all their jurisdiction, not ours. They will keep us. No, but we could, but we could, yeah, but we could say we respect. We still lobby on behalf of our of our community. On on behalf we want. of the neighborhood, yeah. we would request that the um, trees be replanted. Okay. I mean, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen. I know, but, I, I know, I but it. if you Correct. don't ask, I get it. and I would rather have that than a fine. I mean, they're talking about mm -hmm. trying to do some kind of, you know, uh, figure out what to do, and I. Okay. 
I mean, the fine, it doesn't do anything for So make a motion to revise the letter to add the um, paragraph or sentence relaying that we would, we would re request on behalf of um, uh, groups in town and residents in that, in that neighborhood and on behalf of our residents that we would, we, we would like to make the, make the property whole again with replacement of the tree. Who's going to, uh, so do you want to say how many and where? No. What no. 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 I would leave that up to them. That's, right. yeah. I mean, right. they know what was okay. cut. All right. Then we can do that. Did you have a question? I have some um, uh, reasoning maybe behind that is that you could you, say that. Uh, come up and say, say yeah, sorry. state your name and, and just. Thanks, sir. Laurie Busada, North Main Street. Look at that intersection every single day. So I think you could add, replace the trees to uh, reinstate the visual and noise barrier between the neighborhood and, and the, road. the busy road. And possibly also say that Route 5 is a tree-lined street and it kind of defines the character of Deerfield and Old Deerfield mm -hmm. to have the beautiful streets, uh, trees in the fall. Well, and not to complicate it, but you know, the trees do, roots do suck up water and the, you know, the poor dinosaur place, I know they're having real water issues. So since the tree has been So cut. to replace the functions provided by the trees, which include absorption of water, visual and noise barrier between the neighborhood and character of the town. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my, my request in that motion is to put that sentence together and maybe have, um, have that revised into the, into the letter and back to us for approval before we send it. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. So everyone's on board? I, 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 so I would rather have that happen than let them do a fine or something. So that, I need, that doesn't work. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a, a question of <laughs> Thank you. Lily Dwight, South Mill River Road. Um, I have a question in the letter you refer to the owner of the property, but isn't the point that the owner of the property is Massachusetts Department of Transportation? I, and you just read it out loud, so I just am looking for clarification. Mm. Therefore, issued a notice violation to the owner of the property. Well, the, the maybe it's the abutting property or the the person who removed the trees, because the owner of the property would be MassDOT, correct? Let's see. Based on the discussions had to date, it says within the MassDOT right yes. of way. Right. But it refers to the owner. Of, so, who is the owner of the property to whom you are referring? Actually, was my point. Actually, read the whole sentence. Yeah. The based on based on discussions had to date between Mass DOT representatives. No. Oh, that one or yeah. above, above one. it. Okay, on behalf of the Deerfield Select Board, I write to make official the town's request already made verbally that it be kept apprised of Mass DOT's actions relative to the tree removal that occurred on certain property situated at the intersection of Route Five and Mill Village Road in Deerfield within the Mass DOT right of way. But I thought there was a reference to the property owner. That's, I'm, there was. it was hard uh, to hear. There was. The next, the, the next okay, paragraph. that's what I'm wondering paragraph. about, that making sure that's clear. The, the, the and, and you're right, it does. It's just, it, okay. A notice of violation to the owner of the property. I guess the assumption is well, they we own, know that all the trees were on state property right. or some on private property. But you might, so, d d instead of saying the owner of the, the to the person who did the violation, just be specific as a because it could be I'm, that was just I was confused yeah. by the property owner reference relative to the trees because the property owner of those trees was the people of the state of Massachusetts, mm -hmm. aka DOT. Right. I gotcha. but that's I think that the vagueness is, was intentional because we don't know who owned, you know, if all the trees were on the state property or some of it was on private land. Regardless, we know who, who did it, and the state but knows who did it. To but your earlier to point, the... only MassDOT can only enforce restitution on their own land, not on, they cannot force okay. anybody okay. to plant trees on their own property. Okay. So that the, my, we'll my point being just yeah, to, for clarity's sake, we'll, just say we'll talk the to the person lawyer about who, that. 
yeah. make sure that that, yeah. that encompasses sure okay. the violation and not so much the property owner. Right, yeah. and then we'd rather gotcha. have trees planted than a farm. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. So what's our next step? So next uh, on this? Mm -hmm. We'll call Adam and have him add a sentence about the trees. And then have it sent back. Be replaced. Do you want it to come back here? Or, or it could be sent to us individually, and then we can respond yes. back like we did before. Otherwise and then we'd have to wait the time two trees are going to grow back by the time. Oh, it's hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, I I would hope that Adam could add the la the yeah. language of you know, the additional we don't sentence. Don't have to go back to Adam. I could take a stab at this and show. Oh, it I love to it. You I love it. Okay. If you can do that, that's then wonderful. Would you then circulate yes. it to us, and we would yes. respond to you, and then you could mail it out if you had at least two of us agreeing to it. Mm -hmm. Don't you all write me tomorrow? <laughs> I won't be here. <laughs> and if you do, I won't come back. <laughs> so, anyway, okay. Thank you. So, do we wait till seven thirty? No, we just we can go on. go on. Yeah, it's not a okay. public hearing, so yep. you can. If people are all here and wish to um, come up, and you want to do it, okay. Fine. So next on our. Agenda is a cultivation host community agreement, Sun Mass Incorporated, Deerfield Naturals, and Diamond Shine LLC. We'll take them one at a time. I, sure. Um, we only have the only one I see is the, um, the Sun Mass. And was there any changes to this, Wendy? No. Uh, yeah, I just want to highlight something. Uh, their attorney was in touch with our attorney. Let me just pull that out. So on the back page. On page two. Mm -hmm. page, um, page two. Did you say, Wendy? Yes. yes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Page this five, section 10. I still want to. And this has to do with the term. Term and termination. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, second sentence after the semicolon, so it's the third line where it starts provided. Where, However. Where are you now? On 10. 10. Term okay. and termination. Yep. Gotcha. Second sentence, which is the middle of the third line where the semicolon is. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's um, changed the language from provided, however, the provisions for the final payments resulting from impacts in year five due and payable in year six shall survive the termination date. Take that out. And it's, it's, this is already in what you've got and what, um, I don't know if they're here. Um, and substitute provided, and again, that's what you have. I'm just highlighting mm -hmm. this for you. Provided, however, the provisions for community impact payments herein shall survive the termination date until such time as the 20th quarterly community impact payment has been remitted. So it. So, so what's that capture? I don't understand. Yeah, there, if you agree to it, both parties agree. That they would keep paying regar keep regardless of the termination. Is that what it's? No. They, is that the change okay they want? If it's terminated, yes, this is an agreement paying? between the uh, attorneys for mm -hmm. us and for sons. <laughs> my my concern is that we still have other in here in section B instead of any. Um, uh, that's, that? that's agreement one yep. B. That didn't okay. That didn't get changed yet. So one B. Yep, should be changed. All right. How come, uh, yes, we need to take that out. Can, can we, we seem to not be able to take that out. Can I just make a vote on that so I have it dated? In yep. the minutes, um, that I uh, my motion is to change section one in the uh, host community agreement for cultivation um, one B uh, for the community impact payment amount. I want to change the term. Um, I'll read that gross wholesale receipts means the aggregate purchase price paid by instead of other any registered marijuana establishment. Um, bef um, but before sales, excise, and other taxes, and before amounts collected yeah. for the community impact payments. That, that should have been 
I mean, that we changed that several yeah, times. Yeah, I just wanted. Yeah. I just, wanted I just was I know, going just back get, before the attorneys. Yeah. I didn't even know they were talking to each other. Actually, That's okay. so. Do you have a second on that? And I didn't. Have um, that. I second that. Any further discussion? Nope. Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um. Excuse me. That was Okay, so I'll, I'll read section B. Um, We're changing one word. I can just word. hand him a copy and point it out. <laughs> well, okay, it sorry. Might, it might be to? easier if you just come up and look at it. We've been trying to get this fixed. I, did you get it? I emailed it to you. Um, this, we've been fixing I this actually email two or this three one. times. So you're changing the word other, other to, to any. 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 On, in 1B. In 1B. And, we, and we're putting it as part of the minutes because we've tried to change it like two or three times. So, it makes sense to me. yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, great. It, it just gets missed because it's, a, a it's minor, one word, <laughs> one word, yeah, Big it's an important one. Yep, um, so, so are we so signing the, this right now? The main um, change, I just talk to them and negotiate and mm -hmm. bring them up or something. I don't know. Um, no, we just voted right. to do this. Yeah, do we have uh. No, sons. sons is We're not talking here. about sons only. And they're right not now. here at the moment. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're not. You, no, yeah, we can sign. And then but if the if the board votes to sign mm -hmm. it, then we yep. I can take Pass care of it from change there. That word. So. Right. So well, I'll make works. a motion that we sign this agreement and send it With on to Sun in. With changes. With the change. I second that motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, do you have one that we can sign or you can make No, I'm going to make those we'll changes. Make that change and okay. Yeah. Then, then we'll we can come in later. and sign. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Um, do we want to Yes, I have think a every, there are others with, others here. With uh do you Deerfield, Deerfield Naturals? Do you feel Naturals want to come up and sure. discuss? We're prepared to go forward with the agreement as you just amended it with that word change. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Then we can sign. We can vote to sign it. Uh, we're not requesting any other changes. Great. Okay. This is just cultivation, right? This is now. Just, just cultivation. cultivation. It's just a cultivation. It can be a cultivation for recreational or for. Right? Yeah. So for yeah. Anything. Whereas the company desires to be responsible for this decision. Uh, I help you with that. Uh, first page, second. Yeah, paragraph. I see it. The company intends cultivation of recreational marijuana. So I'm just wondering if recreational the, slash. Medical. Yeah, I'm just wondering if the board is limiting it. Or no. Not. Okay. No. No. Uh, it's it was meant to include recreational. Should should we? We could just do slash medical. I think you should have, should amend it. It's a whereas. It's not part of the actual agreement, but for clarity's sake, it would sure. make sense to do that. Which is what? Add to operate medical? a licensed recreational slash okay. medical marijuana slash establishment medical. Yep. for the cultivation of recreational slash medical marijuana. I make a motion yep. that we um, add slash medical to the... To those two so, items, yep. and to the the fourth paragraph of the recitals too. Um, Same thing. Everywhere it appears. Yeah. Supports the company's intention yep. to. Do you want to change the the previous one as well? These are what the lawyers worked out. So between sons and our attorney. If it's up to you. I, I, yes. Um, yeah, I think it would make sense. Because we want the same yeah. I think cultivation the same. agreement yeah. with right. everybody. Okay. So we right. can just Regardless sign, of the name. sign it. Okay. And move on. So operate a licensed recreational slash medical marijuana facility okay. establishment. And this and is just in the rear as is correct? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. If there's anywhere else. You didn't see it anywhere else? No, that was okay. the only spot. No, it's not in the agreement itself. It's just in the recital. Okay. Yep. Okay. Or could we just eliminate the word recreation? We kind of achieve the same thing. Well, uh, for cultivation the, the, of marijuana the, does not specify whether it's well. We had put in ma ma uh, marijuana establishment, but then when you say um, establishment covers everything. Yeah. 
<laughs> but I think you should put in recreational slash medical because yeah, it makes sense. A little clear for everybody. It's a little clear. Yeah. Who cares? Yep. Either way, what works works for us. Okay. Yep. Okay. Either recreational slash medical or elimination of the word recreational. So, okay. I, I make the motion for both recreational and medical. And you already made that, right? She made a motion to assign. I second that motion. Okay. Any further for, discussion? Uh, All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. Just gonna do that one too. Do we need to revote that with that change? The uh, Wendy, should host we revote? One? Yes. Should we, okay. I make a motion that we revote the Suns Mass Inc. with those changes, the medical recreational slash medical. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have so one other. are you ready for us to vote on yours, Tom? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the, so the second point we had on it was that transportation needs to be covered either in the cultivation one or the retail one. I don't know. We haven't seen a retail one yet from the board, so. Um, we haven't voted on what we want in the um, dispensary one yet. Okay. Um, Why do you need transportation? Aren't well, you if you're selling it, it needs to be transported, and that's a license from the CCC as a transportation license. It's a separate. It's separate from cultivation. So, being able to grow it and not not transport it as mm -hmm. part of this agreement does not make sense. Um. You would need that in the host agreement. I I don't think the host agreement is a transportation agreement. We're we're not. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird because I haven't seen one split like this. I mean, most communities just do a host agreement. Mm -hmm. So now I think that we're, now that where we're would splitting you it, there's a where, question of will Where would you transport it to? To any other? Any, yeah, any other any, re retailer. Any retailer in the state. But why would, you, why would we give you a host agreement for that? To cover that? You're, we're covering your growing at the moment. Right, it's just part of the licensing, so I just don't Meaning want it to when be. You, when you go get a license from the CCC, you need to have a transportation license it's from separate from cultivation. And, and who provides that? The CCC? Yes, correct. And so, they need that? I don't think we do it. They need a host agreement to cover the transportation. I don't know that they necessarily need a host agreement. Right, that, saying that. Yeah, we'll that's what this is. So This um, is a host agreement. To figure out where to, you, why you would need, need yeah. that in our. Uh, I'm happy to accommodate. I'm just trying to understand yeah. the um, philosophy. Because uh, what, what we're doing is approving you for cultivation. Right. So. But then you're doing retail, and then you're doing manufacturing all separate. Right. If you at if those host agreements are not adequate to cover the transportation okay. between your facilities, we certainly could do right. one. Which we won't know until we get to that licensing right. stage. Right. Anyway. We're just doing cultivation at the moment. Okay. So. Um, but we're and we're willing to do that right now. Okay, then because we yes. we realize that there's time to ramp up anyway, and right. maybe by between the time you're ready to, you know, grow and sell, then we would know if you need something separate for transportation. Right. I just want to make sure that the board would be well if it was needed. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yes. Okay. I mean, we're not trying to okay. give you a hard time. I I we're just confusing maybe, but not. <laughs> Yeah, this is um, relatively new, so yep. um, I, I, I don't believe that we need to endorse some, something separate for transportation. But if we do, we'll be glad to do it. Okay. So see, seeing that, I don't, I don't have a host agreement specifically with Deerfield Naturals on it. Do you have uh, do you have your, copies? Or, do you yes. have your copy? And then Not can, with the edits we just made? Right. Was, That's fine. We could... We could take it with those edits. And is that the same? I assume that's the same. Yeah, just make sure. Can you email it to me? Yes. Thanks. I can have um, well, you would, Kathleen, um, can we, Kate, Kate, review it. Yeah, we just need the same. We would be voting the same with the, with the amendment. Yes. We're you marked any. Uh, 
There was a change in the last Medical. section 11. Right. Are you agreeing to make payments even if you terminate the agreement? That's what um, Sons um, agreed to when we just voted. What was that last section? I they she would continue making the community impact payments beyond any termination of the Is agreement. That, I'm sorry, Carolyn, on the, um, the wording of that. So I, and I'm not sure if I understand it correctly, but because the payments. Excuse due, me, could you come up and speak yeah. into the mic? Um, to see if I understood it correctly, but it said because the payments are due after the fact, so that I think what it's saying is that if you terminated the agreement or terminated the business, the, any payments that were due up until then are still due, due. because it comes, right. I think it's 14 months or something after. Right. Right. It's um, quite a long time. Right. Yeah, it's 20. Yeah, so we would continue point. for anything because once yeah. you stop selling, there's nothing due anyway. That, so yes, we, was, um, we would agree to that. The language made it so that it's, you're not paying from the date of the signing of the agreement. It's right. from the operation starting up. Right. So that yeah. was yeah. clarified. It makes right. sense to me. Yeah. So, yep. so, so we okay. agree to that. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure you were aware that you were agreeing to that change. Okay. I make a motion we approve um, Deerfield Naturals. Pending council review. Yeah. Pending council review. Mm -hmm. and, and the changes that we have agreed to. I second that motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I'm not sure on diamond um, shine. I, I, I would rather wait until um, you've completed the. Yes, we have our meeting tomorrow at six o'clock. Okay. Yes. Okay. We have but, no objections to anything. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I just it's just a matter of form. Thank you. Understood. No problem. Okay. And you've received. I think I sent all the entities that have been yes, in touch sir. with me. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I can get you an updated one because this is updated from no, that no. very small ways, and we'll get that out. Okay. Thank you. All set there? Yep. Okay. Next thing is to award a municipal IT project contract to Northeast IT grant funded. Okay. In the amount of $25,325. I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, this was reuse of that grant that we've managed to convince the state to let us hold on to that, <laughs> for months. that uh, preceded my Years. arrival for, for about $45,000. And we work closely with the Mass um, Executive Office of Technology Services, I think is the accurate name. Um, and they like this program that we've come up with to upgrade our security and a whole bunch of things. And it's all detailed mm -hmm. in the part of the quote that I've given you. Yep. Um, we received um, a quote from Suzor IT for $42,000 for this and from Phoenix for $43,000 So uh, for doing the same work. So this really? was the That's a big low change. quote. They come very highly recommended with good references. Yep. And um, Diana's been handling this. She's ill. Mm -hmm. but we, I've been going back and forth with her. How are we going to spend the rest of the money? Um, I think implementing and purchasing related equipment to make you right. know, all of this IT happen. Stuff. Go so you quick. can, if you want to talk about it aloud for anybody, um, the detail of the work is in there. Um, Do you want me to read just the first section of I, this, or, I, I, I don't, or anybody? Is anybody do, do interested in the public? <laughs> uh, welcome to come see a copy of it. Um, but at, you know. As Wendy said, it's updating our Wendy, IT. And when I'm are they going to start? The when are, when are they going to start this? ASAP. Yeah, as soon as we. Okay. We need to get going I, on um, this. You know, I haven't gotten any feedback from the Mass State Police that we're going to. You know, they were going to do a pilot. Or a, a drone offered us a, as a pilot for you know security um, assessment. Um, With this takes care of. That. Yeah. Yep. So, we'll uh, take it. So I'm, I'm fine with this. So we I just I, I have a number of things for you to sign if you just want to vote to. Yep. Yeah. I make a motion. Or we not to, but if we do the signer, sign, I'm, signing I'm, at the end of the meeting, that would be you. I make a motion that we award this contract. I second that motion. 
Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have a request for comments from the Zoning Board of Appeals Planning Board of a Berwick bed and breakfast at 194 Lower Road in Deerfield. Do, uh, I'm, I'm anybody sorry, in the audience I, representing them? No? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I did not know that we were doing this. Um, I, so I did not, I have not. Um, it's all the information the I have about it. Yeah, we don't have a lot of info on it. Um, well, I did not do a site visit. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, does it need to be this? Well, when's the hearing? The 20th? When's our next meeting? 19th. 19th. You want to wait? Yeah, can we wait till next and we'll just do a little research on that? Or do you? Think what, what? Anything in the If they're having a hearing on the 20th, how would we? Well, we could be one let me know this. individually. Yeah, okay. no, you could go. <laughs> oh, I see. Right. When are we? I was. When? You could go to the hearing. Is it the. No, I could put it well, on your agenda for the 19th. We're meeting on the 19th. Yeah. This is uh, Thursday can, for the I zoning can, board. I can move this to your meeting on the 19th. That'd be great. Okay. Thank you. We'll make a site visit before the 19th. Yeah. Okay. I'd just like to learn a little more about it. Okay. Okay, approve and sign an MOU with the Franklin County Solid Waste District on reference of transfer station third party inspection. Um, has Kevin weighed in on this at all? Oh, yeah. All oh, this is. I know it's standard already. stuff, this but this is our just, usual. He's fine with it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I make a motion we approve the MOU. I second that motion. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Go ahead. Sorry. Approve and sign a DEP grant in the amount of four thousand two hundred dollars for recycling the dividends. I make a motion. Second. Any more discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Approve and sign an MOU with the FCSMD for household hazardous waste collection day. There's a W missing in that. <laughs> <laughs> there is waste water. We, yeah. Waste is not in there. That's right. <laughs> I make that motion. I second that motion. And we'll, Any, as soon as we get those dates. Um, okay. Any further discussion? No, All those no in we favor? just. Aye. I just want to make aye. a note that we um, make sure we advertise it um, right. on our website as soon as we get Do, the dates. Oh, we don't have the date yet. Okay. I thought actually we did. I haven't seen a date. No, get the dates. And I thought okay. I gave it to Pat to put up at a reasonable time. Okay. So, yep. Check on that. Approve and sign an MOU with the FCSMD for sludge hauling and disposal. I make that motion. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I thought we'd actually signed that one, but I, I thought couldn't we did. find I thought we did it. Too, but, um, but I could not find it. So. Hmm. Um, there was a change. Yeah, we did because they were changing. Well, yeah, what happened is the other vendor, there's only one choice at this right. point. Right. So. Yep. Award and sign amended contract with Apex for replacement well at landfill for $17,811. Um, so did we find out um, why that needs to be replaced? It was supposed to be two, right? Right. We're at least we, we got it from down from two to one. Um, just DEP wanted an additional, it needed to be replaced, the well itself, and it's not a new well. I think it's replacing an old well. I know, but Dr was it because it was too, we've had drought years, so that there's not enough? So it's additional depth, or is it brand, brand new? I can, um, I'd ask for, I thought we were going to get an updated letter from DEP on that. Um, all right, let me see if I still have the one. This is the well. Okay. Do you have any information on that well, so the size and depth? Um, I have a DEP letter. If you want. If if it if it's because there it's been dry for the last two or three years. One of the newly installed wells was dry and could not be sampled. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but it says that true, but that is a result of dry conditions at the time. I don't know who's responding here. 
I guess it's um, Larry Hansen from DEP writing to uh, Dick and Kevin here. Mm -hmm. um, I guess this is a, a, a response, a question and answer letter here, but um, at My any concern rate. was that we were putting in a new well, and it's because it's, you know, there's no flow because it's been dry. And so you're going, your depth is not correct for when we have rainstorm again. I mean, you're, you're going below the flow line from the landfill. I'm reading this. I'm, I'm going to, mm -hmm. you take that in while I'm doing this. I'm taking it in. I, I you know, well, I agree with that. I, how much do, how much? Because uh, if you go too low, then you're not picking up any of the contaminants when we have the flow. Well, that's why I, I wonder how deep it is. Because right. it does, if you get put down deep enough, you're going to get the same groundwater that old Deerfield gets. I, I assume that DEP is flow from the demanding this, right? We don't have much say about whether we do or don't put the thing in. I, I know, but the problem is a lot of times when you can't do, I mean, it, it makes sense to me. I understand what you mean. Water. Yeah. Okay, I'll just read this. It says okay. it on the cover page. Okay. I think you're you're trying you, to get I, the I you're trying to get the stuff. migration. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're from the okay. landfill. Okay. Migrating down to the river. So what happens was when it's dry, there's not any migration. That's happening. exactly what they say. But if you go too deep, then you're you're in the aquifer and you're not going to pick up the migration when it has water, you know, from rainfall. I, I'm That's, just concerned yeah. that, that your chain, your we have a well that's been monitoring for years and we've had unusually dry conditions for the last two or three years and then you, you're changing the depth so you're not going to get an accurate read once we get rain again. I mean, it's still dry. Well, if it's dry, what are we sampling? If it's not running, I, that's, and moving, I, why I'm, do we need to sample anything if there's nothing coming through That's it? right. If there's no, I nothing coming off. Kevin's watching. I, I shed some light on that. I know. I'm, I'm willing to vote because of we the We can hassle. vote and hold on to it yeah. until you are. I will vote to approve this with the condition that we check to make sure that we're doing the right thing to monitor the, to the landfill. The whole idea is to protect, protect the, the watershed. watershed. Of, of Old Deerfield mm -hmm. wells. And so you don't want to not monitor the well that has been monitoring for, I mean, when did it ever close? I don't know, 20 years ago or whatever. Mm. We've been monitoring that with that well. So all of a sudden it's dry, there's no sample, they want us to re-drill lower. That's well, not going to give us the right Well, it does, it does look like the plan was to replace these anyway. Read number item number one. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of one I wanted Kevin here to handle all of this stuff. Right. So I, I just want to make sure this we're is doing to the Dick right and Kevin, thing. Kevin, uh, review of the 2017 annual monitoring report for the Deerfield landfill shows the following issues. Number one, has the historically most impacted groundwater monitoring wells, DW12A and DW12B, were not sampled. 12A could not be located due to a snowbank and 12B did not have enough water. Replacement of these wells is on the docket to be completed in 2018. Remember, we budgeted for 2017 to replace DW11 set and in 2018 to replace w DW12 set uh, just to keep down the cost for a single year. So replacement of these wells is still the plan. Do you want me to read all these? I don't want you to read no, any of them. You know what, Trevor, <laughs> Trevor, <laughs> Trevor, let's just vote on this and just verify that we're doing the right thing, okay? I just want to make it sure. It seems like that from what he says it is. So um, so I make a motion to approve And I'll second the contract. that. Contract. Yeah, any we just need discussion? to make sure it's correct. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, if you'd like, I'll reach out to Larry Hansen too and see if I can get a clear definition of exactly what it is that they're looking for. We just want to make sure we're, Kevin. Mm -hmm. we want to make sure we're monitoring okay. correctly. Kevin. All right, then Kevin can do it. Yeah. Well, I'll, he'll be watching, I'm sure. Yeah. Kevin, okay. you and Kip talk. <laughs> well, and Dick, we just, we want to make sure we're catching the flow, adequate right. monitoring between the landfill and the water district's wells. Okay. 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 All right. Ward and sign a contract with Apex for the repair to the landfill for $23,000. I make that, that motion. 
second that motion. Is Any that the divot that mm -hmm. occurred? I okay. So. Any right. further I'll discussion? All those okay. in favor? Just want to keep Aye. Make sure. Aye. That's Aye. fine. That's good. Okay. Good. Okay. No, Special actually. projects coordinator contract extension. That's for Diana. That's for Diana. Just another How long month. is it going to be extended for? Um, to the end of October, I posted the position, the town assistant town administrator position. I'll talk more about that okay. when I give my report. But this would just cover a um, couple time days a week until that whatever outcome of that is. Okay. Okay. It varies. It varies. It's usually Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. But she also does like minutes right at home mm -hmm. sometimes. So she's a contract. She's a contractor. So. Yeah. Is there any chance that we can get some extra hours to support you? It's this? up to you. <laughs> well, I, I feel like you've been really overworked. Um, That's I feel an understatement. Like I have too. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> so, we're moving forward. I'll, well, I'll talk about the assistant okay. town administrator. Position. Okay. So, do we? I make a motion to extend the contract. Second that motion. Any further comment? All those in favor? Aye. 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 One of the, well, I'll, I'll talk about, well, just to answer your question, Carolyn, I think it might be useful and, and efficient, financially more efficient, to hire a stenographer to do the minutes for these meetings and for the planning board. Mm -hmm. Those two just jump out at me. Uh, the delay in getting meetings minutes done, the amount of time it takes, if it's sometimes can be two or three of us that get involved with these minutes, it's Enough. just... Um, not cost effective mm -hmm. to have Diana at her rate or me oh, right. doing it right. uh, or Pat and then having to, who watches it and then we have to fill it in anyway so it just might be better I know in times past you've done that and just more it's just something to think about we've also been talking about that at school committee level as well yes I understand that. I heard you, that from tell, yeah. from the superintendent it needs needs to happen so if there's anyone watching who's a great stenographer and would like to Stay busy going to these exciting meetings. <laughs> They're exciting to me. So, yes. <laughs> um, you know. Anyway, it's just something I think we should consider. I know the planning board chair, at least, is interested in that. Okay. So. We don't have any appointments, do we? Do you, nope. I don't think so. Do any new business? I've got my report. If you want. Yep. Whenever you're ready. Do you. Ready. Right. I'm on. Please. Okay. Sure. Let me find it. Okay, so um, just draw your attention to the uh, MMA annual registration. Uh, um, let Pat know if you want to go, and she'll yep. take care of. What's the deadline? Um, oh, it's, like it's sort of an early bird like, special more than a deadline. It saves money to sign up early. You can just tell her that I'll go. Um, no, you when? can. <laughs> All right, I'll let <laughs> No, I will. I will. I will. Right. I will. I will. Okay. The deadline is still quite late. It is. It is. I think yeah. uh, January 9th. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I think Michelle would love it. <laughs> so, it's really yeah. worth it. Um, it they're going. They're going to um, have more workshops, um, and then we can. I'm sure the cannabis commission will be having a booth. Mm -hmm. We can nail them on any questions that we have. <laughs> Free samples. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay so the two yes, of you and you'll think about yeah. it. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, and I was just going to, you know, as I already did, strongly encourage you all to go to that mm -hmm. uh, FERCOG training on uh, select board roles. Um, the system town administrator position has been posted on the website and on the bulletin board, um, and it's on the MMA online, and I've already gotten several inquiries. Great. Um, and will be in the recorder on Saturday. Um, That's good. Applications due September 21st, um, but continuing applications until position is filled. Mm -hmm. um, it's now posted for 30 to 35 hours a week, depending on money's available and money's asked for and negotiated. So. Um, your next meeting, the 19th, it's your regularly scheduled meeting. Can I back up on that real quick? Yes. We're not looking for 40 hours? Not for this fiscal year. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, well, don't we have the Gabsy um, presentation at six o'clock? I on which? think that's probably on the nineteenth. Yeah, I was yes. advocating for October, but um, yeah, I believe that's what you have. Yep, it is. Yep. 
So we're meeting for those that are interested or yes, please come. still need convincing. Um, <laughs> so your next meeting is on the 19th. We will have the expedited permit hearing that night. Okay. Um, and okay. that is a whole, it's been in the newspaper as required. Good. They're also filing an, a notice of intent with the Conservation Commission. And in this package <coughs> with the expedited permit is for a special, they wanted to just cover all the oh, bases, okay. special permit, yep. site plan review, stormwater. And there's copies in the office for all of you to look at. Did you take those? I, I didn't take a copy. I read it, but I didn't take it. I only what thought there were two Is that left. 7 or 7.30? Um, I don't remember right now. Um, this is an expedited permit for the Dumont company that's planning to, that we've sold the parcel to in the, in the uh, old Pickle Oxford property there. Yep. So, um, I think it's either 715 or 730. Okay. I think it's 715. I just don't okay. have everything I'm working on in front yep. of me. So, I certainly let you know. Um, um, as I, we talked a little bit earlier, I met with Berkshire Gas. They have been calling all the town administrators and meeting one-on-one -on -one with them um, to update on the moratorium, and I gave you the handout you they did, gave yeah. me just to say basically, and they, two representatives just laid out that um, they looked at all options for being able to lift the moratorium, and they don't see a, a, a cost-effective way that they can do that. Um, so the moratorium continues. They're also, in, in the Berkshires, that's not a problem, so they are, there isn't a moratorium out there in case you see that, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, hookups are. So are they doing any kind of um, savings, um, energy savings? Yes, they talked to me about that. Is okay. that in the handout that I gave you? No. Okay. Um, We're just talking about why they can't right. it, it's, provide it, more. I think they told me it would cost them $100 million to... They look. They talked about different options and uh, another lateral pipeline alongside the Tenneco that exists. Um, they know that you know what was presented previously is never going to fly or you know will meet the kind of resistance it did before. So they're not going that direction. Um, LNG. They've got pre-existing LNG and that's not something they, that could be helpful in this as well. I was going to ask you about the permission to build five. I'm not, I didn't realize, I, we didn't talk about, I know that they want to do something, but I don't know what. They had gotten approval before, right, and they built like one and then stopped, or two and then stopped, or something two. like that. I think they have two and there's room for three more, so yeah. that would eliminate a need for... No, apparently it doesn't in terms of capacity, but hmm. according to them. So I can give you contact information yeah. if you'd like that. Um, on Friday, I will be here tomorrow. Um, I think I believe we have an MCAP meeting um, the second week in October. Lori, if you're interested in coming, I can give you the date and time. I have to just look at my calendar. Um, but we have that information. Uh, you know, we're staying together as a group, the um, 13 communities that um, have organized. Um, the carpenters from La Rochelle who are doing the police station roof were here today and uh, local inspector David Jensen was here and he talked with them and that's some different approaches to the work and Kip and I talked individually so he's going to connect with uh, Is it still parties. under the award? I yes, mean, yes. It, oh, okay. No, no, no more, no additional cost. Um, the completion date should be on or before November 1st. Go to other projects. Um, Barbara, Cl uh, town clerk Barbara Hancock and I had a used very good conversation with our code book folks who we're working with to bring the bylaws project forward, and I'm I'm optimistic that'll be very helpful to the town. Um, and we'll get some um, letter detailing the process. We'll get an update from them, and I'll share that with the board and with um, the members of the bylaws review committee. Um, the planning. Personnel board has wrapped up their, the, as far as they could go with the personnel bylaw transition process to a employee manual policies um, document, and it's with council. And I spent um, time going over that with town council. Do we have to um, have a public hearing and then go to town we're meeting way, for it? Yeah, yes, and we're uh, no, we do on the bylaw, but not on the but not with the bylaw is going to go from. 
we should, we'll do it because it's important, but we are only required to have the public hearing in, in the bylaw. As long as the bylaw exists the way it does, yes, but the ch we will change that bylaw. Okay. So that we don't have to go to town meeting to keep up to date with personnel laws and litigation that happens all the time. So it's just been a, a, a 11 year process, I think, the town has been. So that's a high priority for me to move that forward. Um, I met, we met with uh, Dave Prickett and Tony from um, about the water, wastewater assessment project, and among other things, and I'll let Trevor talk about this, but among other things, we'd like to get the sewer rate set soon, and they'll help us ascertain, uh, you know. Uh, did you, did you tell them that. that we really needed this to be an, at least a preliminary yes. report before yeah. Thanksgiving? Yeah, yeah Tra we did. Trevor Thank can talk. Thank we, you, Trevor. We did. We talked about that. They understand, you know, procurement, what we need with CIPC, and um, they're kind of, they've done a lot of work already, so they're kind of squishing the schedule a little bit to kind of overlap a few things at the Thank same you. time to bring that forward. I mean, it's going to be a tight squeeze, okay. but at least we should be able to get some, you know, good budgets and plans for about, you know, what, we're, what we need, what we're going to do. Um, you know, we, we talked a little bit about the two management areas yeah. um but haven't kind of well they did a they did a um and i'm having brenda check the numbers right. that they used um but they did a preliminary look at revenues and costs and said it's they're very it's really similar between that plant and here obviously one's on they're different scales but when you look at an edu cost they're really really similar and but you know, they were taking into assumptions on some things, and they, you know, right. they said obviously numbers haven't been completely vetted, but just from their overlook at that, that's what kind of what they felt. Because right. they but, know that. But we're going to have Brenda's looking over those numbers okay. now to, to just to see how accurate they are, and because they, um, Kevin and uh, Tony, I think, were uh, they had been trying to kind of separate the bills out between the two things to try to get a true cost. I mean, it's not scientific, but it's pretty close to what they spent here, what they spent here, and. Um, and what the costs are, and, and they're very, very similar right now. I mean, they're within ten dollars or something between the two. Um, five ninety-two. It's like five ninety-two and one six eleven or something like that. They're pretty close to each other as far as an EDU cost, but um, you know. But again, that has to be vetted and to see if that's truly what it is. Um, so there was discussion of whether we wanted to go through that large thing if we're not going to have a huge expense at this moment well they'll, um, they'll, they'll come back yeah, with something gonna, written to, yeah, to look at and discuss kind with of look at okay. it the board. but they I, I still was, need to kind yeah. of talk that through with you guys and see um, well, where they're at they did all this before and you know you talk about these edus and stuff but the bottom line is it's very easy to know how many gallons each plant processes mm -hmm. and what you say is accurate to the point that the, the cost of running them is similar the part that's inaccurate, not what you said, mm -hmm. is their analogy is that this, the old Deerfield plant just doesn't produce that type of volume like South Deerfield does. Right. So you know when we, when, the way we assess these uh, mm. things is just inequitable because people in South Deerfield pay a larger portion of the sewer treatment process, and that's why I thought we, we were trying to divide this out because then you will see the true cost in the old Deerfield area. I, I think that's know? what they did. Yeah. I, 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 I know, but, but, I, but I think last year we tried, or uh, I tried to get that to change that rate and that because I, I could see how the folks in South Deerfield were paying, you know, the majority of the, the cost. And well, but the majority of the costs were incurred in South Deerfield, like the right, Captain the, Lathrop of replacement. I mean, that's been twice. Well, that, Two or three times. But I mean, other than that, that's just the actual, the yeah, that's separate from the treatment right. of the thing. So what, you're right. I mean, there's, if you look at the cost of doing business there compared to the volume that they do, it's very similar. Um, so yeah, they were looking at the volume. I, I, I encourage yeah, you to look at the numbers when it gets them all laid yeah, out. Yeah, I did, because I, I, I went to uh, Barbara Nasser and I actually, um, the other girl, gave them to me because I wanted her to divide it out. And mm -hmm. she was kind of like, well, how are we going to do that? And I said, simple, by the zip code. You know, yeah. Yeah, it's, I wanted everybody's water bill from the old Deerfield zip code, and I wanted everybody's water, and we did that. And, and that was a way to break it out. But mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and, and 
they said in their report two years ago was the same, is the cost to operate the plants is very similar. Right. But South Capital's Deer... Capital's obviously different, but we haven't... They, I don't not think they a whole took lot, but the, case. The, the South Deerfield one processes a lot more septage than Old Deerfield does. Right, but if your ratio is the same... You know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's definitely... It's and and you, if you're basing it on water rates, don't forget that um, Eagle Brook has their own water. So you have to... Um, well, we'll, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll flush figure this it out, out a little further, but I'm, I'm we'll curious. It right? Yeah, right. No, no pun intended. Um, okay. So we will... Uh, All right. But I just... It was an interesting meeting that kind of... It, it, they were, I think, a little bit surprised by the data as well, but I think they... You know, Barbara's needs to look at the numbers. We need to do a little bit more detailed look at that, but, um, uh, Brenda, I'm sorry. Um, and then, uh, so we talked about the schedule, about getting things figured out so we can get it before CFTC. Well, I just want to make sure anything that's a safety issue that we have yep. that submitted We've for December 1st. We've got that all figured 1st. out, yeah. yep, to okay. get that rolling. So it was, it was an encouraging meeting. And just to bring up the big topic, as it stands, mm -hmm. the capital projects, unless we change something, will cost 75% to the users and 25% to the town because that's what was that's the that's, law as that's we have been it the now. law as yeah as far as we know yep but we'll you know again i'm sure that'll be a big discussion in it's town be a good discussion people. because <laughs> the people who pay tens of thousands of dollars for septic systems as you well know yep. are going to be upset that they have to pay for the sort of treatment plant but yep that's, that's how the forefathers put it at well the they'll moment. look at well, they'll look at the They'll look, they'll, um, what's the word I want here? Analyze that and how, because you can't change that by mm -hmm. um, special, legislation. special legislation, which has to go to town meeting. But that'll, yeah. So there's a lot of work ahead, but at least they're going to get some ideas of what our, our most important things are. Obviously, we know South Deerfield plant is, is high in our minds about getting sure. jumping on that stuff, and then, but, but have a full picture of that. And get a time schedule and some well, budget. Well, we, we need get we need a dollar amount. Yep. So that then we can figure out how we're going to pay for it. Correct. That's all. That's all yeah. happening pretty quick. So we have another meeting on I think the twenty seventh. So we're, okay. we're keeping these quick. So oh, thank you, Trevor. Roll this I, I want you to know I really appreciate you keeping the yeah. schedule in mind. Thank you. I enjoyed the meeting. And the last thing I had is I will be at a small town administrators meeting tomorrow. Will not be here. And I will be out next Wednesday and Thursday and um, half a Friday. <laughs> Good for you. She wants me to take all of Friday. Yes. I, do I, I'm, I'm I think you're crazy. <laughs> I'll see. It'll all but be I won't, here I, get I won't be here next week. And you know you're going to come in on the weekend and work, so why come in on Friday? <laughs> so I don't have to come in on the weekend. Even. <laughs> I don't know. That's all That's I it? have. Yeah. Do you have anything more, Trevor? Um, I think we're still working. Um, Diana is working. Uh, Diane is working. Uh, Cornwall is still working on our assessment for the for their senior center, um, and uh, we're we're going to have a boo meeting coming up hopefully shortly. Twenty seven. Um, oh, sorry. No, I thought of something else. But oh, you finish, go ahead. Please. So the um, so we're we're hoping to kind of get that assessment done, which is pretty close. Uh, we obviously need to adjust our budget because the budget was way wrong. Um, so we're hoping to get something before a special town meeting to kind of help level that funding. It was just, it was all out of whack. So, but Diane and Christine have done a really good job of separating out um, in a revised FY19 budget of what our true expenses are compared to what we had and budgeted and what, um, you know, the funding, how we fund salary and how we fund maintenance and all that stuff yeah. was really all backwards. Um, oh, so yeah. she's done a really good job of working that through, and I'm, I'm anxious to kind of get that report and report back to you and, you know, work with the, yes. um, with the other two towns. Yeah, and segue, uh, last Friday I filed all the paperwork, and we now own the church. So we need to take care of that church. Mm -hmm. We need to insure it, which we will be on our insurance schedule. We need to heat it. We need to maintain it. And we need to decide what we want to do with it. Mm -hmm. So, um, could we um, we'll put on the agenda for um, next meeting? Is um, how are we going to approach the feasibility study on that? Yeah, I actually. Um, I think we might need more money. Maybe we might need that fall. Um, if we're yeah. going to do a true feasibility study. 
Right. I mean, that was sort of a placeholder, but All right. I mean, we don't have an estimate or anything, but I, I don't feel like it's probably adequate. Well, I think, and I think Diane's going to have Yeah, in that's her where report, I was going to segue. Yeah, I asked Diane Cornwell to, not thinking of the church necessarily, just in terms of the operations of this senior center, what could we use? Right. In terms of activity rooms, that's kitchen, why that assessment is so and mm -hmm. important. Uh, office space for the right. um, and privacy as well. Mm -hmm. So she's going to provide that, and that'll help think through. I did um, while the election was going on. It was very active yesterday. A number of people came in. Thank to you visit. for all voting. And, um, yes, and mostly the you. right way. <laughs> in terms of helping municipalities. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? I don't know if you oh, want so to people get... use the opportunity to come in and visit and say hello mm -hmm. or say, talk to me about a problem, um, which is all fine. And I met a couple of folks. I finally met, um, I just, uh, Shelfand. Oh, Julie. Julie, Julie Shelfand. Shelfand. Yep. Shelfand, who was interested in being on, active on committees, how, you know, what's open, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And also, I saw Carol Morrow again, who I hadn't seen in a while. And, um... I, I talked with both of them about possibly being on a committee about the church building, and um, they Good. both seemed interested in that. So, um, uh, just as a first thing. <laughs> well, we want to so. get going mm -hmm. on how we're going to move ahead, so it would be important to strategize. So, if you could put that on the agenda for next time. Okay, I'm, I think you were starting to say if there's uh, time um, after yeah, the. Yeah, um, about the 19th because there's like. Gatsby. All I know, but if stuff. we don't start the process of talking, we I'm don't need to make starting. a decision. <laughs> Fine. But yep. we need to think about it and say, mm -hmm. at least talk about our ideas, because otherwise, if yep. it will be October. Right. And we just. And I really, I really would love to have some sort of layout for the residents at annual town meeting, so that people can kind of decide which which plan do you want to go with. I mean. What, well, what ideas are possible again, and get feedback from them at that time. We need to have a December 1st submittal for moving ahead as well. Mm -hmm. If we want to spend any money, Right. we need to have uh, some something submitted to the Capital um, yep. Planning Committee. So going to be busy. It can be altered. It can be changed. Of course. But um, we need to have a placeholder at least. Well, we're going gonna, we're gonna to be a couple of hours with that anyways, that site plan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have anything you'd like to add? Right? I'll also work on that and mm -hmm. present things to you to, for your consideration. So. Okay. Okay. Good. Good time. Is there anyone from the public that would like to make a comment on anything? Hello. Come on, Come on up. up. Lily, you got to identify yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Lily Dwight, South Mill River Road. i um, asking you to put on your. Um, Board of Health hats, if you would be so kind. Mm -hmm. I um, am a member of, I guess, the South Deerfield Water District, and I got another letter telling me that the water I've been drinking is not good water for July and August. And it's the same blah, blah, blah. Oh, but don't worry about it. It's just that the state says that you're being poisoned, but you're okay. And I am... Mm -hmm. Uh, I see in the paper that our water department has got the attorney general's office looking into it. I see various other things going on. And so I will tell you I have no confidence in our water supply. And I feel completely helpless. So I would love to know how you, as our Board of Health, are going to address this or if I mean I don't even know if you have I mean I'm hoping right. you have, have the authority? ability to because I feel like I'm uh, you know I pay my fees and to be poisoned thank you Thanks. Um, I hadn't really thought of I mean I um, have re been reading it in the newspaper as well so maybe what we could do is invite um, the, wa the water commissioners to our next meeting or a meeting we could have a meeting, a with meeting. Them. yeah we can have another meeting with them um, or we not the night now we had talked about having a meeting with them to discuss yes. operational issues which is more 
ongoing and long term mm -hmm. than um, this concern. I've heard this from other people as well. They, they, they answer to, to you uh, because they are, and all the residents that are on it, because they're, they're not a town department. So a, a lot like the fire district is not a town department. We don't have... Their meetings say, are public meetings. Their meetings are public, which are usually in the middle of the day. Um, and uh, so I, I encourage you, know, you to attend their meetings. And um, I think the public has a vote, if I'm not mistaken, into um, Oh, yes. You, their you, as, you their annual um, meetings. Their annual meetings. They have the annual meetings. You vote the budget. You v yes. yes. You vote the budget. You vote the it's commissioners. It's a separate entity. So their problem Us. is the state entity that oversees them. You can Same thing. DEP. It's DEP. DEP. Yes. But I'm a person who doesn't buy bottle, you know, bottled mm -hmm. water because I Environmental want to sense. trust my, my water supply. I don't want to create extra trash. So I would like to know how we can you know, facilitate this problem being resolved. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know if it's so a matter of personnel or if it's structural or, or what. But It may be all of that, but... I, it certainly is a public health issue, which is why I asked you to put on those hats. I mean, you can't yeah. use well, I mean, I have to say I, I Googled Meganese as like everybody else and, um, you it's know, okay. became a little try to be Leverett a little. had a huge problem with manganese. It's not, it's very common in, in our water supplies locally. Um, and I mean, having not trouble with turbidity. The concern turbidity. about it just saying. Right. Turbidity is, it, it's, right. I, if I understand, it's the clarity of, of the water and the right. particulates. It's not presumably it's particulates that they don't have the devices to well, measure what it's actually containing. Well, t from what I understand, that typically they, um, they are able to treat it most, most often, but whatever they've been using recently, for what I read in the paper, like everybody else, is that it hasn't fixed the solution, so they work with DEP to get some ideas on how to clean that up. Um, but yeah, I'm concerned that the levels w could get to a point where they might be safe. You know, why, why do I believe them anymore? Uh, that's, uh, that's, can't answer I that. I have zero confidence in them. And I have zero confidence in and their truthfulness and, and what they're actually doing. And I go up Waitley Glen and walk my dog on the road, and the gates are wide open for our protected water supplies, and they're always wide open. I, you know, mm -hmm. anyway, sorry, I'm nope. clearly a little upset. But I, I thought that you, as our Board of Public Health, would have the ability to do something about it. I had no idea. So that's, that's really good information. Thank mm -hmm. you that basically they're a little fiefdom um, over which we need to, we need to participate in, in order to get anything done. I agree. The, I, the, I, so. I think we post their meetings out there. Yeah. We do. Yes, they're posted so, meetings. Um, um, the the, the water district is set up like the fire districts. They're a separate entity. Every, you know, people vote. They've the commissioners in. They commissioners. They both vote the budget, the vote the expenditures for, like, land preservation around Sorry. Waitley Glen, um, you know, the watershed. Purchases stuff like just that. They just purchased some. Property. Yeah, they just you know did more additional purchases. So they have a balance sheet, public financial balance, balance sheet. Um, but if our public health is threatened by their incompetence, if that's what it is, or their inability, let's just say, if our public uh, clearly our public health is threatened by their inability to deal with what's going on. So who, as our board of health? Can you do something, please? I'll look into that. Well, we, we, we can um, try to have some meetings with them to understand, better understand the issues. I, I think the issues are, I mean, they are concerning. I don't, I'm not saying they're not concerning, but I don't think that they are life-threatening, um, my understanding, so. Well, we'll get, we'll get better answers. Do you believe what they say? Mm -hmm. I've been, I've, I, I, I don't know I don't know enough to give you um, an answer one way or the other. So but we'll, we'll get, look we'll into it, Lily. Can, mm -hmm. can I just um, back up? How, how did the commissioners get elected? 
by, by people coming to the public meetings, I believe, and You come and to a voting. meeting, your annual meeting, and you vote, <laughs> you vote persons on the board. I, I get more notice from the MTA mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, Polaroid Corporation or whatever. It's been a lot of turnover, and um, I have, they I kind have. of find a new person. It's not a, it's like the trustees of the library sometimes just reach out to someone they know and kind of fill a spot, mm -hmm. and that's... I think how, I, I, this is my understanding, again, I always tell people, if you don't know, don't say it, but I'm going to venture out based on what people have told me, that there have been a lot of turnover, and so to fill those positions, they sort of ask someone else. So and then they vote at their annual meeting on those commissioners at the so time. So is that on our website somewhere, about who the commissioners no. are? Or is there I try, yes, there, there yes. is. There yes. is on our website yeah. who the commissioners are. And I are. try very, very hard and ask mo on several occasions for them to communicate with us because people do think it's a department of the town, and I get calls when there's a water break, or I get calls, and I, please let us know we can help you, and you'll be helping the public if you just let us know what's going on. So, uh, it's important. Um, yeah. Hard <laughs> work. Sort of vital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just going to look into, because I have the same question about the, the role of the Board of Health mm -hmm. around a public water supply that's not under the control. Well, we can intervene if it's, um, say, say we had a hurricane come through and the wells or the water was compromised by runoff. We, you know, can have a boil water notice or, you know, um, there's too much chlorine in the water. We can shut down the water system because people are threatened life-threatening kind of situations. But um, in general, we do not interfere with their day-to-day -day operations because the, D, uh, the DEP has, you know, I mean, they, they are, the tests are submitted to DEP. DEP monitors the water um, quality and, and, and the levels. Um, I mean, DEP is, is informed of the condition of the water. Or, you know how much I think some of the notices said that they hadn't been getting uh, reports but see that's a violation that the DEP <laughs> follows up on um, whereas we as Board of Health don't have um, that jurisdiction we have jurisdiction in, in like in emergency situations um, mm -hmm. like a chlorine you know too much chlorine treatment or you know like I said you know a pollution issue up at Waitley Glen, we can shut down operations and, and require them to bring in bottled water, which they probably have emergency um, water response protocol, and they would do it, you know, they would work in conjunction with us notifying people, and you'd work with the fire departments to make sure that everybody had bottled water, that kind of thing. But that's, that's an emergency situation, not, uh, and not reporting. They um, have nothing. Just right. The names. Just the names. There's no way you can contact them. There's no email. There's no phone number. There's absolutely not on our website. They meet on the second and fourth Monday of each month. Do you know where the water district office is off of Sugarloaf Street? Yes. Oh, yeah. You go, they're there. They're, they're there every day, Stop so in. you can go in and ask all those questions to them. I have to say, I've I've had an, uh, back and forth on a, a different things with Sean Bowman. Is that his name? Mm -hmm. um, who's been incredibly responsive. He's a commissioner, or is it a prudential? He's he's yeah. he's new. He's a new person, and he he does seem to be very responsive. He's I think he just he's only been on a couple months. Well, it's a little longer than that. A few months. Is there any other comments? Thank you. Just ask, um, I'm sorry, I had to step out, but uh, the repairs to the landfill, does it have to do with the integrity of the cap? I'm thinking of... Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. we have a divot that um, showed up, which meant that, you know, it has uneven underneath the, Actually. you know... It, oh, okay, so there's been settling. Or yes. Yeah, so uneven settling. So we're going to repair that. Not that there's a leak, it's just that the settling has so... There ha you know, this is a repair to make it smooth again or even. Because what happens if you have the uneven, um, you know, this divot thing showing up? It collects water, and then it would, it could 
ultimately, ha you know, have the integrity of the cap could be com compromised. So what you're doing is doing preventative maintenance on it. You got a question, sir? Yes, not to Court. add to your agenda, but um, are the other two post agreements, retail and manufacturing, set on the agenda? We, um, we haven't discussed them. Um, the only thing, the, in addition to, for the medical and marijuana, um, we're going to do Board of Health. My recommendation is all the, anything that we're interested in, like in food inspections for edibles and stuff like that, is going to be Board of Health regulations. So we're not going to be making that part of the host agreement and complicate the host agreement. Yep. So the only addition that I'm recommending to the current host agreement that would be cultivation. So in other words, you take the same agreement... Um, instead of saying for cultivation of recreational medical marijuana, you would say for the um, dispensary establishment uh, um, is I'm recommending um, two payments to the f um, a payment to the South County EMS uh, and two payments to our fire districts of five thousand dollars each to cover training related to um, um, medical and um, responding to any issues with medical marijuana or um, re uh, recreational marijuana at that establishment. But we as a board haven't agreed to do that. I no, mean, we have not agreed to. Oh. Right. Yeah, that, so I'm just, is, we haven't can we had get it on an agenda, whether it be we, next we can discuss it next, yeah. next meeting. I don't, I, I don't think next meeting. I, I, I think we're going to have to push that back. I mean, our next meeting is going to be... Okay. Well, you know what I mean? I mean yeah. Do you... I mean, we can... It's not on our agenda, so we can't legally discuss it. But, I mean, I... Uh, I could certainly get a council to adapt what we've got for... Yeah. And give you a draft. And, and sure. get a draft uh, and send it to each of you. Because it's just, it's just changing. Yep. Yeah. Literally a changing of the word. Everything else can be um, handled under our Board of Health regulations. And, it's, and as things emerge or things occur, we can just change it at, at a meeting of the Board of Health and not involve the host agreement. There's okay. no reason to do it. It seems... Well, don't we have public hearings? We have to have a public mm -hmm. hearing. There's a whole process for adopting regs. So we better get going on those if we're going mm -hmm. to um, reference September those. 23rd, Cheryl Sabar is having her um, meeting in Boylston, and I, Dick and I were going to go. And but we have them already. I don't understand. No, <laughs> this is new stuff that's okay. come out. It's all right. a all-day, another workshop, and... Cherald is going to give us this a whole list. This is different from what FERCOG gave us. Yes. And what the council gave us. Okay. Uh, FERCOG stuff is already out of date, apparently. So, okay. This has to do with what the state the is going to do now. CCC. The state is going to do a certain amount of inspections, and we are going to be responsible for a certain amount of stuff. And so, this defines what the state's going to do, what we're going to do. And what we can do um, uh, to back up the state, because right now they have no inspections, We're, no inspectors. So, are, um, do we have any thoughts about meeting just specifically for this item on the 26th of September? Uh, uh, we could. I don't. I just don't. to have it to give people a date, and the, right. that would give us the rest of the month here to nail out the. I'm okay with that I because I'm. Um, say I may not be here on the 19th. Okay. So yeah. I'll, uh, oh, it's not the 23rd. I have it has to, to work ahead of time. First. Have Diana cover. Okay. I'm sorry. It's the 21st, not the 23rd of September. Well, the 26th would give us, you know. Yeah. That um, way, people could settle on a date, and we could. The 26th is a Wednesday. Yes. Yes. Right? Yep. Well, just right. we can just have a special meeting to deal with. That's okay. Wait, that agreement. That's right. we'll, we'll okay. If so, we can finish it. So we'll talk about getting that on the on the. Are you on the taking a vote now to set a meeting on the 26th of September? Is that what you're? That's. Uh, I would like to do that, but I, I wanted to make sure it was good with everyone yeah. first. I just a thought okay. because the 19th is way too full. It and, is. Um, you know, I don't mind coming in on the 26th, but I just. Um, no, that's No, fine if we just me. keep it specifically to this and not load it up with a bunch of stuff, we could be in and out pretty quick. Um. If yeah. It gives us good luck. <laughs> <laughs> if it gives us the week, you know, gives us a little bit of time to kind of make those adjustments to modify it into the retail and then people could plan on 
getting it done. So do you want to say 7 p.m. on the 26th? Yes, please. Okay. okay. I'll make a motion to have a meeting on the 26th. I don't know if we need to vote that or not. Have to vote that. Okay, good. Okay. We Thank just you. have to post it. You can make a motion to dissolve, though. We should we should be able to um, <laughs> give you all your or answer all your concerns. I make um, a motion to dissolve. I'll Thank second you. that. Thank you. Okay. All those okay. in favor. Thank you all Bye. for coming. Thank you. It's all good right. to see you.